The EPA is considering new rules that would restrict the amount of industrial chemicals known as PFAS in drinking water, but binding regulations are still several years away. However, consumers do have some options for their tap that are readily available. A recent study tested the effectiveness of removing toxic chemicals in nearly a dozen water pitcher filters. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee gives an overview of those results. I really wasn't sure what we were going to find. Sydney Evans is a senior science analyst with the Environmental Working Group, the nonprofit dedicated to protecting human health and the environment, recently tested 10 household name brand water pitchers on their effectiveness for removing industrial chemicals known as PFAS from tap water. PFAS are also known as forever chemicals because they do not easily break down in the environment or the body. Studies have linked them with increased risk of various cancers, among other health concerns. Researchers tested each pitcher's ability to filter out 25 different PFAS chemicals from actual tap water. These were not laboratory tests with like spiked water samples. Uh, this was a real home tap that had PFAS amongst, you know, all kinds of other things. Four pitchers removed 98 to 100 percent of the PFAS compounds. Travel Berkey, Zero Water, Clearly Filtered, and the Epic Water Filter. Evans says other brands had a reduction of the chemicals ranging from 22 to 79 percent. Evans says the four pitchers have a higher price point than other brands in the report and may be out of reach for some consumers. And maybe a lot of people already have Pures or Brita's or Amazon Basics. We wanted people to have that information and to know that they do work to some extent and less PFAS is better. Christina Heineger is a spokesperson for PFAS Free Trenton. The group was formed after high levels of the toxic compounds were found in Trenton Elementary School in 2019. The water was remediated, and thanks to federal funding, dozens of residents, including Heineger, had their well water tested. The levels from her well, though, came back above the EPA's recommended safe limits for drinking water. Initially, she looked into getting a water pitcher similar to the ones listed in EWG's report. You have to dispose of those filters, and if you're going to throw them in the trash, you are now throwing a hazardous chemical in your trash that's going to end up in the landfill. Heineger opted instead for a reverse osmosis system that can be hooked up to your water supply with filters lasting far longer than a pitcher style device. Researchers, meanwhile, point out that any filter is less likely to work as it nears the end of the manufacturer's recommended lifespan and should not be used beyond that date. Vivian Lee, News Center, Maine. And right now in the New Center Main app, you will find the full report on water pitcher filters from the Environmental Working Group and how you can get your water tested.